Boop's manager compares her to Hitler in a compliment and she takes the fall. I am not op. Original post by you. Accidentally blew in R. Am I the asshole? Trigger warnings. Anti-Semitic sentiment. Less than. Mood spoilers. Frustrating. Less than. Backslash. Backslash backslash backslash. AITA for going to HR about a manager's compliment. Backslash backslash backslash. The 19th of September 2022. I. F28. Started working at a new company about five months ago. And I am so passionate about the work that we do. This is my first proper job in the field of my degree. And I do not have much experience with this kind of corporate environment which is why I am asking. Reddit if I am being overly sensitive. Without giving away too many details. I spend a lot of time engaging with local communities and holding community forums I am a very extroverted person and have always enjoyed meeting new people. So this is really the perfect role for my personality. These events often include quite a bit of public speaking on my part and answering questions from the community in a town hall kind of forum. I am confident doing this and consider myself to be a good speaker. Last week, my manager, M50s, attended one of my community outreach events as I am reaching the end of my probationary period soon and he wanted to see how I have progressed, improved in the role. Afterwards, he pulled me aside and compared me to Hitler. I am paraphrasing here, but his wording was along the lines of, you should be proud, you are a good orator, just like Hitler. It is important to note that we live in New Zealand, but my parents are both German and I have quite a German sounding name. Of course, this was offensive and I was at a loss for words. My manager saw my reaction and told me that it was a compliment and that he is sorry if he caused any offense. I did not know what to say so I just bid him goodbye and went home. It was time for me to leave anyway. I did not just walk out of work. The incident has been playing on my mind quite a bit. So I went to HR on Friday and told them that I had been compared to Hitler. They said that they would make a note of it. And I felt like it had been handled. This morning, my manager asked me into his office and sounded very serious. He said that I had put his promotion in jeopardy and that his family was relying on the extra money. He told me that I had taken his compliment too seriously. He had already apologized for causing offense. And I should not be so sensitive if I want to make a career in this line of work. He said that I should have thicker skin and not act like a millennial snowflake when someone says something that I don't like. Reddit. I am kind of at a loss about whether I went too far by going to HR about my manager's compliment. He did apologize in the moment and I do not want to jeopardize the money his family is relying on. Should I have just moved on? Was I too sensitive? Was I the aw? Uh? Little update for anyone still here. I am following everyone's advice to go to HR. I have a meeting set up in an hour and will let them know that my manager has retaliated against me and created a hostile workplace. We'll update everyone on how this goes. Backslash. 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 Seeking advice in NZ. Manager paid me a compliment and retaliated against me after I went to our HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash askhr slash comments slash exit 653 slash seeking advice since manager paid me a compliment slash backslash 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 the 20th of September 2022 good morning everyone I was directed to this sub after a post I made yesterday and I was hoping to get some advice about my next course of action some parts of this text have been copied and pasted from my original post, which I cannot figure out how to link. I am a 28-year-old female and am working in a corporate environment my first job of this nature. I am also based in New Zealand, 
but am uncomfortable giving more details than that. My manager is probably in his 50s, and last week compared my public speaking skills to those of Hitler. I do have a German-sounding name, and both my parents were born and raised in Germany, so I found this comparison quite offensive. To be clear, though, I also think it would have been offensive even without my German heritage. His wording was along the lines of, you should be proud, you are a good orator, just like Hitler, I was at a loss for words. And once my manager saw my reaction, he told me that it was a compliment and that he is sorry if he caused any offense. I did not know what to say so I just bid him goodbye and went home. It was time for me to leave anyway. I did not just walk out of work. The incident has been playing on my mind quite a bit. So I went to HR on Friday and told them that I had been compared to Hitler. They said that they would make a note of it. And I felt like it had been handled. Yesterday morning, my manager asked me into his office and sounded very serious. He said that I had put his promotion in jeopardy and that his family was relying on the extra money. He told me that I had taken his compliment too seriously. He had already apologized for causing offense. And I should not be so sensitive if I want to make a career in this line of work. He said that I should have thicker skin and not act like a millennial snowflake when someone says something that I don't like. I was advised to go speak to HR. And I have organized a meeting with them. But other than discussing his thinly veiled threats, I should not be so sensitive if I want a career in this line of work. And name calling. Millennial Snowflake. I am not really sure how to proceed. I am also scared that I might lose my job. I would really appreciate any advice. As well as any tips on wording. Backslash. Backslash backslash backslash. Update to my posts in R, A I T A and R. Ask HR. Thank you for everyone who has left helpful comments. I am posting an update if there is anyone still following the debacle with my manager. Yesterday, I posted on R, am I the asshole and asked whether I had been too sensitive when my manager had compared me to Hitler as a compliment. Post link. After explaining that my manager had called me into his office to berate me for potentially losing him his promotion, I was advised by some commenters to post in R. Ask HR. Where I didn't get too many comments but some lovely people helped me with wording a second. Complaint. Post link. I have just finished up with HR. And it also looks like I am finishing up with the company as a whole. Initially. My meeting with HR was scheduled to be quite early in the morning but was pushed back by the HR. Team after, some more information came to light. Ultimately. I met with the HR representative as well as a lawyer representing the company. This is kind of when I knew that things had turned sour. I started the meeting by describing the fact that my manager, Bob, had called me into a meeting yesterday morning and was quite frustrated at me for bringing the Hitler comment to HR's attention. He had called me a millennial snowflake and made a thinly veiled threat about my continued employment. The lawyer and HR representative said nothing during my story and just shared some glances. When I had finished, the HR representative told me that they had received some complaints about my conduct from an external stakeholder and a colleague of mine. According to them, someone at the community event had overheard the conversation that I had with Bob where he compared me to Hitler. And because I did not say anything, out of sheer shock, the community member was now convinced that both Bob and I held anti-Semitic views. Unfortunately for me, this person is also a high up member of the local Jewish community and had a lot of dealing with the company. The community member had approached a Jewish colleague of mine and explained his concerns. My colleague had not been at the event. But apparently my manager had said some Nazi friendly things in the past and she now saw me as being in league with him. 
Both the community member and my colleague approached my manager's boss and told them that the team was fostering Nazi sentiment. Despite me having approached HR and complained about Bob's comment at the event, the company felt that my continued employment was too much of a risk considering that I had already damaged the reputation of the company. As I was still on probation, the HR representative told me that my firing was effective immediately and I had best pack up my things. When I asked whether Bob had also been terminated, I was told that they are not at liberty to discuss private employee matters with someone outside of the company. I took that to mean that he has not, will not be fired. But I am quite upset by the whole situation. I feel like I have been used as a scapegoat. The lawyer told me that they would be willing to provide me with a letter of recommendation for future employment provided that I do not put up an unnecessary fight. I initially wanted to get an employment lawyer involved for unfair dismissal, but I am concerned that I will struggle to find another job without a recommendation. The lawyer told me that I have until the end of the day to take him up on his offer. I was so passionate about the work we were doing and was so thrilled to finally work in the field of my degree, but everything seems to have gone up in smoke. I am beyond stressed and not really sure who to turn to. Sorry for the super sad update. Backslash. Reminder I am not the original poster. I sincerely hope they get a lawyer of their own. Blaming this person for the manager's views is really terrible. I was about to comment that this didn't sound very NZ based on employment law but then I realized. It sounded very NZ based on ignoring or not following employment law. Seems like it would be a good thing to reach out to the Jewish community member as it sounds like. Op knows who they are. Both to clarify OP's position and steps but also to turn negative sentiment at a business that would scapegoat the target of the anti-Semitic manager instead of firing the manager himself. I hope OP contacts whatever New Zealand's Department of Labor. At the very least however s, he should be making a public stink about this. In all likelihood the manager is going to poison the water by talking badly about her in the industry. May as well distance themselves as far as possible from him and his abhorrent views, behavior and maybe get some sympathy points that way. Some asshat thinks comparing someone to Hitler is a compliment and oop ends up losing her job and having her reputation smeared? Fuck that. I truly hope this doesn't follow oop into her next position. I mean I'd want to fight too. But the concern of future employment being jeopardized is genuine. Just sending moop positive vibes. I am concerned that I will struggle to find another job without a recommendation. You never worked. There. You just have a gap on your resume now when you search for your next job. Thankfully you can live off the big day settlement you are getting when you lawyer up. I would suggest talking to a lawyer as you want a clear statement from the company what your response to the compliment was. You do not want to find yourself tarred with the same brush. At this point, self-defense isn't a bad idea to discuss. I hope this isn't over yet because this is infuriating. You need to reach out to the Jewish community leader and explain the entire story while expressing how upset you are at being fired instead of the actual racist. This is a real problem. They fired you to shut this whole situation up. It seems. You're going to get a lot of weird advice here from people who aren't Kiwis and don't know the law. I'd speak to a lawyer ASAP. Don't sign anything. Don't accept anything from them. I'd fight this this is massively wrong. I certainly hope this is inconclusive and she reports this to proper federal and state labor boards. Does the HR story of someone, conveniently, overhearing the convo seem suspicious? 
You're like Hitler. What? You say nothing? You agree? Look everyone. I found a Nazi. Quote. What a bunch of braindead morons. As infuriating as this story is. Boop is probably better far from this cesspool of a company. Arg! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! I have doubts whether the OOP is actually based in New Zealand. Or is trying to obfuscate their real location. While it is certainly possible for HR to be completely ignorant of NZ employment laws. A lawyer representing the company is unlikely to make such colossal mistakes. Every step of this process is in breach of NZ employment laws. If everything is as represented here then OOP has an open and shut case and a big payout coming. FFs. For all the speakers in the world to be compared with a homicidal maniac. In what world would that manager thinks that would be a good idea? And to be discarded by a workplace like that. I really hope she finds a good lawyer who is willing to represent her and hit them where it hurts. This is why I didn't complain when I got told weird racial comments at work. Everyone there would totally find me sensitive. I'm a Kiwi and agree with all the sentiments and advice for her to lawyer up not okay. I also suggest that if anyone knows anyone in the media, this could also be a good place for this story to be leaked. The second you see a lawyer at any discussion you are about to be involved. Turn around and come back when you have your own. Boop got steamrolled. Sadly, I am not the least bit surprised that this is the way things turned out. Remember, folks, HR is there to protect the company, not you. Sorry. No brilliant advice for right now except do not sign an NDA upon leaving. Tip for the future. Never be passionate about corporate work. They don't care about you. Their HR departments are not about protecting you. Corporate employment is all about dancing to their tune and not making waves. Anyone who makes it to a management position has done exactly that and is well versed in underhand tactics to protect their career. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.